Welcome to What Next Vlog installment five. Keep my hands warm today. Yeah. Right now, I'm actually outside in Killian Court. That time when I recorded myself outside before, that was me actually sitting on the ground way over yonder. I have two other jackets with me, just in case. I also have gloves on, because it was wicked cold that day. The snow is like gorgeous, you know? It, it is just all sitting right on the uh, branches. Yesterday it snowed for literally like eight hours, maybe 12. It started at five and it, it didn't end till much later in the day. So maybe even more than 12 hours. It was crazy either way. Um, basically, what I want to talk about today is this idea of nerves, anxiety, talking to new people, you know, presenting uh, projects, performing shows, whatever it might be. And it all kind of originated when a uh, friend who was watching my vlog asked, that third time that guy walked right past you and you acted like it was nothing. And uh, yeah, I guess I did. I mean, I never really thought of it, you know? I definitely felt uncomfortable, don't get me wrong, but like I was in the middle of it anyway, so why not, right? So I came to a public place in case that happens again. And right before I started, there was a guy who was, you know, taking pictures and whatever. I'm not gonna lie, I, I waited to start. Now that I'm starting, I see people all by the river. They're all taking photos. Their beautiful snow scene of MIT is now going to be plagued by a guy with two cameras and a microphone. <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think about it. Anyway, basically I first want to start off with how can you handle being out in, in public and you know doing something that seems to go against the societal norm? The good thing is that that's all it is. It's a kind of construct in your mind that's been created. You know, it's this, it's this barrier. I want people to eventually watch this vlog. Them seeing it in person <laughs> or seeing it online really doesn't make a difference to me. Being out here, what I figure is that if they do have questions, they will come and ask me and I will tell them what's up and what's next. <laughs> That's basically my thought process there. I mean, there's four people here now and I am totally aware they're there, but you know, I want to convey this message. Of course it's uncomfortable, of course. I'm not really gonna let what people think about it stop me from doing it. One thing I've realized is that no matter what you do, people are going to judge you because that's what humans do. People can say, oh, I'm not judgmental, I don't do that. And it's like, well, actually, I'm sure you do. You're just, you know, maybe not telling the truth. So you're not judgmental, but you're a liar. Boom. And I don't mean judgmental. I know judgmental has a really bad, like, connotation. I'm not meaning it in a bad connotation. If you walk down the street and see anything and think anything about anyone, you are judging what's going on. I don't mean it personally, I'm just meaning it humanely. Like, it's what you do. I'd rather people see something a little crazy and be thinking, what the hell is that guy doing over there? Probably what's going on right now. <laughs> be you, you know? To quote a, what is it? It's some song. Let your freak flag, your freak flag fly. Can you see that? Can you see the... <sighs> Where was I? Where was I at? I was talking about people and you know, oh yeah. Talking to new people is like literally one of the freakiest things you can do ever. Awful, terrible, whatever. There's no hiding from that, you know? That's why I rarely do it. <laughs> We're totally fine with going on our phones and you know, if you have Tinder, which apparently I'm the only one in my dorm who does, when you're swiping, you know, what are you doing? You're literally like saying, oh, I would like to talk with them or whatever, or if you're a little more on the racy side, there's something else going on, you do you. Oh, they seem like they'd be interesting to talk to, swipe, start a conversation. What is it in real life? You see someone that you would like to talk to in your mind, you swipe right and you go up and you talk to them. But in today's day and age, that's terrifying. No one would do that because suddenly you get viewed like, is that guy a creep? Why is he coming up to me in person and talking to me? All these different things. The second part of this, however, is that that's what you think they're thinking. And not you. I know I go through that all the time. I think that these people will say like, oh my God, that guy, why did he just come up and talk to me? Whenever someone comes up and talks to you, how do you feel? Do you feel weird? Maybe if they come up to you and like, hi, I just, you know, I just saw you from three blocks down and I've been following you since yesterday. Oh, I'm in three blocks down. That would be weird. But you know, if it's just someone coming up and talking to you, and in fact, if someone comes up and talks to me, 
I love it. I think it's great. And I don't know why I can't get that in my head that other people are probably similar. We all have these same nerves, anxieties, and all these different buildups in our mind. And where am I going with that? How, how, do, how do people who are professionals deal with being all these things we talked about, you know, people judging, all these, you know, uh, talking to someone thinking, oh, they're going to be thinking about how weird I was. Let me tell you, they still have it. One time a friend went and saw one of my shows, right? Afterwards they said, you know, wow, I never thought you could do this. I know I couldn't because I would just be way too nervous. Well, the truth of the matter is I'm terrified <laughs> before I go up. You know, it, it, it's not like that's something that leaves you. And what does being nervous mean? It means that you're passionate about what you're doing. You hope it's good. You hope that, you know, people enjoy it. <laughs> the way you get over that is you just really put yourself into it. The next thing to think about then is those people who come up to you and maybe tell you good job or even worse, bad job. How much do you listen to them? First of all, if they're not professionals, I mean, listen to them like, take in what they're saying, but there's like three reasons why you really maybe shouldn't take everything they're saying for 100% granted, okay? One is that people can be wrong. If they're not professionals, they don't really know how to give constructive criticism. In consequence, you have no idea what to work on. So basically they're telling you, oh, it was bad. And you're like, okay, well, why? Well, uh, I don't know, it was, it was, uh, you know what I mean? They, they don't really offer anything for you to pick out and work on. And it, the same goes for being good, you know? They tell you, oh, it was really good. And you're like, oh my God, thank you so much. Why did you think it was good? I, I mean, just, why can't you just take that it was good? I mean, just take the cop. No, no, I want to know what was wrong. Like, I want to know what was good about it so I can keep doing it. And that's why my friends can never really win with me when they go see a show. Because if they say it's good, I'm like, I... Uh, I don't believe you, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll stop it, stop it, stop it. It wasn't, and then if it was bad, if they say it was bad, you know what, you don't know what you're talking about. So how about that? The second thing is, is that because everyone's nervous, uh, they're probably never going to do what you just did. And that's okay. Except because of that, they might actually think about themselves, like, why am I not doing that? And then they might judge you more difficult. Like, for example, when I went and saw Star Wars 7, which was great. The first time I saw it, of course, there were all these new young male actors in it. I would be lying to you if I did, if I told you I was not judging them to the fullest extent when I watched it. I could do that. I could. And the truth of the matter is, I probably couldn't because I'm not really trained in it yet, you know? And, and they were great. I saw it three times for God's sakes. It was a great movie. They were awesome. There's that not being there, everyone can be a critic. They don't know what you just went through to get there. That's why when people go see something and maybe they're not an artist or they're not whatever and they just really judge it or whatever, I'm like, would you do it? No, so I, like, I'm not gonna let you dominate what I think about them or what I think about myself. And the th third thing, boom, third thing, told you there was three things, let me put my glove back on. The third thing to think about is that Everybody gets rejected. Everybody. You are going to be rejected everywhere. I've heard people who are with jobs, it's like, you don't know why they're doing it. You don't know why they rejected you. You could have had a great interview, could have had a great audition, could have had a great combine, whatever it was. They just, for whatever reason, did not pick you. You shouldn't let that decide how you feel about yourself. You shouldn't let that do anything. In fact, you should just make yourself learn, want to learn, and keep moving forward, keep going at it. And you know, if you really love it, find a way to get better. Finally, if it's a professional who tells you like this was uh, good because of this and this and this, bad because of this, this and this, notice how they're saying because of this, this and this. Of course, there will be specifics. Be a student, learn, you know. Most likely, if they're like a teacher, they're not gonna try to like bury you with, you know, and, and dissuade you from pursuing it. I say, you know, learn from them, be a student, you know, keep moving forward. Boom. You need to learn that. I think that that's that. Um, I'm sorry if this vlog wasn't as funny, but I think it's a pretty serious, you know, conversation. Like, you got this thing where people are like, see that guy? Holy shit. You know, that's what I feel like everyone here is doing. You just gotta overcome that. You just gotta be like, yo, I don't care what you think, and that's very difficult to do. Don't get me wrong. 
but you can do it. I have faith. Yeah, guys, that's all I got. See you later. Come back again. And uh, I'm really trying to keep it weekly. It's really hectic, but I'm trying. So, see you guys. All right. <coughs> 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 I'm back. Am I back now? Yeah, I'm back now. I'm back now.